Oswald Chambers said the only way to wait for the second coming is to watch that you do what you should do so that when he comes is a matter of indifference. It is the attitude of a child certain that God knows what he is about. When the Lord does come, it will be as natural as breathing. God never does anything hysterical, and he never produces hysterics. And this is Daniel White the Third with Just Jesus, a podcast designed to celebrate the birth, life, death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the impact he has on the world, and the salvation he offers for all people. This is episode number 318. The aim of this podcast is to encourage you to begin a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and to begin to live your life according to his word, his will, and his way. Our Just Jesus passage from the Word of God today is Matthew 19, 25 and 26, which reads, When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Our featured just uh, Jesus quote today is from Vance Havner. He said, when I studied arithmetic, I remembered that the answers were in the back of the book. No matter how I floundered among my problems, the correct solution was on the last page. I have failed often in working out life's problems, and I dwell in the midst of a people who are hopelessly trying to untangle the riddle of this present age, but I am cheered by one unfailing certainty. There is a book that solves the enigma, and the answer is in the back of the book. Behold, I come quickly, even so come Lord Jesus. Holy Father God, we do pray with John that you would come uh, back quickly. We also pray that millions would come to know your Savior by your grace and mercy. For Lord, we know that you are not willing that any should perish. And Lord, before it is eternally too late, help them to come to you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the early days after Jesus' ascension to heaven, the people we now call followers of Christ or Christians simply called their new faith the way. Yes, the way to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ the way to joy, the way to peace, and the way to eternal life with God in heaven. Do you want to know the way to all of these blessings? Allow me to show you the way. First, dear friend, accept the fact that you are a sinner and that you have broken God's law. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Second, accept the fact that there is a penalty for sin, a punishment for sin. The Bible states in Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. Third, accept the fact that you are on the road to hell because of sin and because you have never accepted the payment for sin. Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose again. 
For Jesus Christ himself said in Matthew 10.28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Also the Bible states in Revelation 21.8, But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable and murderers and whoremongers, and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Now, dear friend, this is bad news, but I have some good news for you. Jesus Christ said in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for your sins, was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you, so that you can live eternally with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart to save your soul and to change your life, and he will do it, for the Bible says in Romans 10, 9 through 13, the Bible says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart, your heart, that God hath raised him from the dead, thou, you, shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, my beloved, please remember that at the end of the day, only one thing matters, and that's Jesus, just Jesus, and nothing else. God bless you.